In today's video, we're going to be talking about shirts, we're going to be talking about pants, we're going to be talking about necklaces, and jewelry, and watches, and bracelets, and hats, and sunglasses, and of course, shoes. Welcome to Airstreamathon. If you guys have been tuning in all month, you know that we have been creating so much content around living in a tiny house, living in an Airstream, you know, living on the road, on the go. This video is going to be on trend with that. How to have a minimalist wardrobe while still being fashionable. This video, you know, can be used for both men and women. Kristen also has a video on a minimalist wardrobe from a female perspective, so you guys can watch that if you haven't already. Let's get right into it. As most of you know, we live in a tiny house. We live in 200 square feet, so space is very limited. And we had to cut out about 50% of our wardrobe, maybe even more, but we got to keep our favorite items. We only have three drawers each. Kristen has three drawers, I have three drawers. So the top drawer, is all the tops. That's just the way I organized it. Middle drawer, everything below the waist. And then the bottom drawer, it's actually my favorite drawer, has hats and jewelry. All my sunglasses, belts, like accessories, all that stuff goes in this tiny little drawer. Okay, now for the jewelry and accessories. I'm a big fan of hats, as you can tell. So I have like one of these hats, one of these hats. Look, changed the whole look of the outfit really, really easily. This right here is my safari hat. Got this in South Africa. If I want to be carded at the bar, this is uh, this is what I would wear. I've always liked hats, and I'm not down to lose all my hats. The hats that I do have, I really like, and I wear all the time. The thing about hats is they change your entire look. They change your wardrobe. Just by adding a simple cap or some, you know, new accessory can really change your whole outfit. The same for sunglasses. Each pair changes your entire look. And also these take up next to no room. I also have some belts in here. This is like a pocket square that I got from a friend's wedding, simple bow tie, and my jewelry. I won't go into detail with every single one of these items, but I'll, I'll just like highlight a few. This is one that like I really, really love. And this is like a, like a lava stone. It's from a company called Rock and Vibe. I think guys especially really don't have a lot of jewelry. It's, it's a great way to accessorize. It's a great way to like express yourself and to show off cool pieces and your whole outfit. A piece of jewelry can take, you know, plain jeans and a black shirt to a whole new level. My wedding ring, I will put that on. I, I don't always bring this traveling because I don't want to lose it. It's my favorite piece of jewelry. Cool watches, this is a watch from our wedding. The necklace I got in the Amazon, that's actually a piranha jaw. It would be really neat to do like a whole, a whole video just on this jewelry. This leaf, I won't tell you what that leaf is until we possibly make a video just on our jewelry. So like I said, I have very little, but I've kept my favorite items. Everything that, you know, I wasn't really a fan of, everything that maybe I'll wear this in a year from now, just got donated. One t-shirt from Faraday, which is a really nice brand out of California. Really high quality fabrics. I found that when I had so many clothes, I was going for really cheap clothes. It, it was all just like falling apart after a few years or I really didn't like it because the fabric was, was shit and not quality. So I recommend if you're going to do this, keep quality stuff unless you don't really like it. And when you make new purchases, make sure you're buying quality items because you want them to last. This is my spirit animal top. My spirit animal is an octopus. Just plain like beach tank top. You will notice a big variety in my wardrobe. This one glows in the dark. Simple black, another octopus. This is a newer top that I just got and I really like this because it's reversible. I can, I can essentially wear it twice. I, I wear it like gray and then I wear it red 
and you have multiple options for when you're traveling, when you're going out, reversible clothing, especially when it's double colored, really good to have when you're cutting down your wardrobe. This is a top from Vivid Roots. This is the company we went to Guatemala with. This material is super light, which is what you want. You don't want like thick, heavy, uncomfortable clothes. Thick clothes actually take up more room, so cut them out. Also, the thinner the material, the quicker it dries. So if you're somewhere and you don't have a lot of time to dry your clothes, or if you're air drying it, thinner clothes will dry a hell of a lot faster. So this is like a long sleeve jean shirt. And I think everyone should have one of these in their wardrobe because the quality is amazing. Like this is, this is probably gonna last my entire life. Denim also never goes out of style. So you will look fashionable for decades to come. This is another long sleeve top with a collar. I like to have a lot of color in my wardrobe and I wasn't like that growing up. I tend to get like a lot of black, gray and like red stuff. But since I've had a lot of color, I've had a lot more fun with my style. I don't know if I really like this top anymore. So I'll, I'll probably just donate that. Happy trails, I really like this top. Once you have like a certain pair of pants, let's say, like, like these pants. Like this is like a mustard color pants and there's a mustard color in this shirt. So I could wear these together and you know, pant shirt, it would, it would go together, it would work. Make sure like once you have a certain color of pant or a certain color of shirt that you really love, you can accent it with other items that you purchase. It's nice to have a black top that kind of goes with everything, but also don't stick to just like neutral tones. Try and expand your horizon with your clothes. Actually, a tip that I could give you, um, I've done this, is when you're in a shop and you're debating between two items of clothing, be like, oh, I really like this and I really like that, but I kind of like this a little more. I actually go with my second option because I find my first option is almost like the safe option. This is like a little more risque. I find my second pick is maybe a bolder color or something, you know, a little extra and it really expands my wardrobe. This top, Ganesh, I believe I got in Thailand. It's just super soft. I love the 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 beauty of the elephant. This is my safari top. This is also something that you can dress up. So, you know, I can put like a nice tie on here with, you know, some nicer shoes and I can make this look, you know, pretty fancy. Kristen got me this, I love it. It's great because it's warm and it's fashionable. How you perceive yourself on the outside, you know, really adds a lot to how you feel on the inside. If you look good, if you have like a fresh haircut, you have nice shoes, you have nice clothes, if you feel good, that's going to radiate into everything you do, everything around you. It's amazing how much clothes can impact the way you feel. This is a North Face sweater and it's great material. It's really warm. If something is meant to keep you warm, a quality item will keep you warmer. So you actually need less items um, when you get quality stuff. This is my first onesie, guys. I've, I've never had a onesie and it, it's got one of these butt flaps. I can fart in the wind. <sighs> Oh. Gym shorts slash pajama shorts slash travel shorts. They're versatile. They do anything you need. And these are from Lululemon. Ah, these. I love these. These are the lightest shorts ever. They're amazing. They're breezy. And I got them in Thailand. I love Thailand. It's my favorite country. It was super cheap. This was probably like three bucks. But they have a hole right here right where you don't want a hole and you don't want something being exposed and they're ripping in some other areas this is something that i typically would have kept for years years and years and then the holes would have gotten bigger and i would not be able to wear it something like this i don't keep anymore so this can't be donated so i will just throw it out it's as easy as that more gym shorts slash pajama shorts. I think I should use them more at the gym. I should probably go to the gym and not just keep using them as pajamas. These are my swimming shorts. Another pair of swimming shorts. We do a lot of travels to, you know, tropical destinations, beach destinations. So it's good to have shorts that are also bathing suits. So if I want to go to the beach um, or I just want to like visit villages or go around the town, I, I have shorts that 
you know, are versatile. These are my track pants. I used to have a ton of like track pants, sweatpants, um, you know, a multitude of colors. They were just kind of a waste of space because I had so many and I didn't need so many. And I wear these on flights because they're super comfortable, so comfortable and they're really stretchy. So that's good if I want to like move around or I like to, I like to be flexible and stretch and jump and climb trees and do so much. So I like clothes that can keep up with me. Just very versatile. And now I only have one pair of pants like this. I really prize myself on my pants and people have complimented my pants. This is from Dish Endure. This is a company out of Vancouver and they make really high quality stuff. I wore these on like the safari in Africa and they were very durable. These have gone through hell with me and there isn't a single hole on them. You can wear fancy shoes with these or you can wear like boots. Multi-purpose clothing. Simple white shorts. I really like how light this material is. It's really nice in hot climates because we do a lot of traveling and we're in hotter climates. And light clothing is very easy to pack. More shorts, which are great. North Face, really high quality. And this packs up really light. I just got these recently. This is from Seed. Same company that makes these pants makes these. So it's like the similar cut, similar style with the pockets like down low, but these are are like pink and like a hemp material. This is the company, Seed. They're awesome, they're out of Vancouver, Canada. These are my dressy pants and I've worn this with a suit jacket and it looks really good. So this is great. This is my one pair of jeans, of jean pants. You know, I used to have so many pairs, but now this is it and Rips, of course, you pay extra for the rips. Rips are on point right now. Rips are in. Seven pairs of socks, seven pairs of underwear for the week. Sandals, I have one pair of sandals. These are really high quality. They're made in Hawaii, island, island slipper. Get quality sandals that don't break. Pair of black Converse. These go with absolutely anything. Pair of walking shoes, running shoes. I, I wear these like almost every day when I'm not wearing my sandals. These are my go-to shoes. A pair of fancy shoes. So they're really high quality. They're very trendy. I've dressed them like up with like a full suit. I've also just worn them with like, I can wear them with this outfit and it would work. Because we're in Canada, it gets cold here. So I have a pair of winter boots. These are waterproof and they're breathable. So I really love that, you know, they're they look really stylish. Like it almost looks like a basketball sneaker, but they're completely waterproof and they're super, super warm. That is it for my minimalist wardrobe video. With three drawers, I can probably put together a hundred different outfits. I, I love the diversity in my wardrobe and you guys can look at the items that you have find diversity, find pieces that go together, look at items that you don't really care about, that you're not really using, get rid of them. Believe me, by eliminating stuff in your wardrobe and only keeping your favorite items, every time you put something on, it's your favorite. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and you really like our content. And if you want to be notified, click the little bell in the corner because you'll be notified when we release a new video. Bye bye. You know, if you're if you're ever in the mood for a big reveal, just pop, boom.